G'day and welcome back to the channel. Part two of the flat pack pickup build. This you crazy mother. As you can see, I've pulled the fenders off, the doors off. Like seriously, it was about 10 bolts and um, everything's off. The cowl itself is loose. Um, haven't lifted it off yet. I haven't put that up yet because I need people to help me to do that. But in the meantime, let me get square with you guys. So my original video, my original plan was to channel this eight and a half inches so I could run it with fenders channeled, chopped. Um, and that was all in my original video, in my original edit. But when I came to actually measuring it out, sitting in the thing, and I'll show you pretty much what happened. I had to change my mind. At the moment, I will probably will change my mind, but I'm pretty stuck on channeled, full fended, channeled, 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 full fended, 60s style, side valve V8, the channel to do it fended is quite deep. And so what's that? I don't know. That's that's 10 inches channel. I don't know. We, we need to see that it's going to work. See, we've got headroom because I've already got a four inch chop on this. Eight and a half inches, which is going to bring the door height down to there. Man, that's going to be low. The biggest consideration is going to be floor height versus roof height and being able to sit in it. Good thing I'm only two foot six. All right, I've got a tidy on there that's about nine inches. And I've got... A roof panel up the top and I'm gonna get in there and see how we're going I mean that's gonna be like sitting on the floor on that tire all right that's my view I'm looking straight at the headboard and how's the how's the um, I'll put it this way I don't know if my head's sticking up above but I don't have, I'm not even sitting on anything like I'm sitting on the floor basically so I don't know if this is gonna work but over the last couple of days, it's been playing on me and playing on me and playing on me. And do I do it? Don't I do it? Do I take the chop out? I've had to come to a compromise. I can't, like, I want to do it so badly. I want to channel it with fenders. Um, but I have to come to a compromise. So I'm probably going to channel it about six, six and a half inches, which would get it fairly low. Um, I should be able to leave the roof, but if I've got to come up with the roof just a little bit, it's the look I want, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and do it. All right. I've decided to go six inches. There's the line. That's the old line there. So it's gonna give us two and a half inches extra headroom. Um, and if I have to come up on the chop, I can do it. It's no biggie at all. So the first job is to try and save these inner braces, these mounts. So they're riveted in and possibly welded in in some spots. Um, I'll get rid of those. Look at that mud. That'll be like rings on a tree. So the most inner would be chopped 2014, 2015. And then you've got two lots of mud runs out here. That's pretty cool. Bit of history. Who wants it? Bam! This is probably the worst camera and the worst lighting, but 
we're down six inches um, and I'm loving it I don't know about you but I'm loving it so in perspective with the chassis you can see how much lower it is um, I'm gonna get some timber in the back there and then sit down like last time and see how we go on for headspace so last time the view was here this time the views here which is perfect a little bit of a slouch but that's all right I am sitting on a well, two inch piece of timber um, it just means we got to make the seats low but it means I don't have to recess the floor and put a hump in which will give me room for pedals yeah it's good can you imagine what the roof height's going to be by the time we lower this thing because they're running pretty much on stock Axle, stock suspension, reversed. Oh, is it reversed on the front? No, I haven't even reversed the front of this one. So we'll get it down in the weeds and um, we're going to have a really low roof. So I reckon we push this outside, stick the fenders on it and um, see what it looks like. Better perspective. Let me tell you, if I did it at the eight or eight and a half inches that I was initially going to do it, I probably wouldn't be able to open the doors. That is perfect. What do you reckon? The sun's in a bit of a crappy spot, but... That's exactly the look I want. Got to nut out that section, make it look pretty. But yeah. The big job now is the back of the pickup because I don't have this part, the back window. I have panels for the roof. Um, I have a couple of options. One of them is make it. One of them is rob something else and make it work. Um, finding an original one apparently is almost impossible, but I do have an idea. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't want that to slow me down because if I've got to fabricate that, that's a lot of work to make it look right. And I don't have the time. I've got so much other stuff I've got to do this. So there you go, part two. We've channeled the cow. It's channeled. I mean, I had to make a floor anyway, so we'll just make it around that channel. Um, next step with the uh, the cow is, um, obviously there's nothing holding the back of it up apart from an axle stand at the moment. So it's getting these things back in there and making them work obviously in a whole different spot but they'll be the original mounts just mounted in a different position and that'll work that'll be cool and you the deeper you dig into this sort of stuff the more complicated you can get and the longer it takes now what i want to try and do now this is a stopping steering model a chassis right because it came off the mongrel and everything works on it um, once i start lowering it too much it changes a lot of geometry changes a lot of things that are already there so I need to work out an inexpensive way to lower this thing without mucking around too much I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to split the wishbones which is no big deal for the V8 um, I could put a dropped axle it just means I've got to change my spindles probably which I don't really want to do a lot of it's gonna be in the spring it might be in the front cross member because I can modify that if I need to uh, it would be cool to have it really low with a stock axle I can't do a suicide front, which would be really cool because I'm running fenders and it's not going to work because nothing will line up. Um, so yeah, that's just something I've got to nut out. And the back, I will probably just set the frame, I think, which is an easy way. We'll just drop it down maybe three inches or something in the back and reverse side that rear spring, which will give us, you know, four or five inches in the back down, which would which will be fine because a lot of the lowering is in the guards it's where you put your guards in the back it's easier to lower the back we ought to make it look lowered anyway um, one thing you've got to do when you're doing this sort of stuff is watch out for your rake because your rake too much rake will muck around with your um your camber angles believe it or not but yeah it does so yeah we can lower it by the guard position but we'll get we'll try and get it running fairly flat maybe a little bit of rake um, so we're not mucking around with our camber one of the next jobs is dummy up the engine and transmission make up my mounts make sure I've got room then work out what I need to do with my firewall because I'll probably have to recess that just a little bit I really want to thank Brett at Deep South Upholstery um, he's on Facebook find him there I'll put a link in the description um, I've been chatting him he's got some exciting stuff going on and he has a veterans association on there which are going to build my seat frame for the build which is awesome they're volunteers and they're going to get in get into the seat frame brett's going to do all the trim um it's getting exciting but anyway that's it from me 
I'm going to have a sit down and a bit of a chill out for a bit and um, nut out what I'm going to do next. Get online, see what bits I've got to buy and um, we'll see you on the third episode.